Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and welcome back to the next video, and, um, me and I here to be discussing the next preview for, um, for, for, uh, for Yashihime, the second episode for Yashihime of Season 2, so, episode, episode 2. And, um, kind of, kind of, well, I'll say kind of interesting how it is, the episode's called, um, the the sea demon of the or what was it the sea demon of the sea I think it was it was something like that though right and um, a little bit interested in this in this next episode how it plays out because um well first of all um Tessa she's gonna go talk to a uh, bogus and the you know the demon tree that has that face on there what it's a show I visited once and um it's guys I see that character again and we see uh we see Riku coming back again, which he, he is going to come back though, but it looks like he's, um, there's some, like, some demons right behind him, and you know how the earring, they always flex, and things always just appear? Well, it has, like, he has, like, a little sword earring that's dangling down, okay. That's just a cool, little, cool looking little earring that he has attached to the, the thing he has. Um, but let's see, because I like the character of Riku. And, uh, let's see how what more that comes on, comes about for him. And then more I was talking with this woman who's like a nut, dressed like a nun a bit though, which she kind of looks kind of looks suspicious. I mean, I don't know. That's something just I just well, why I see kind of looks she kind of looks suspicious though. So, and there was also there's a demon that's like the well supposed to be like this this sea demon that's kind of like hunting like beautiful uh, long haired women or black haired women, which the kind of was. Um, interesting because it kind of reminds the last time the last time a demon who would deal with hair was like in the at the beginning of the first season of Inuyasha, you know, of a uh, Yuri of the hair. Kind of um, resemble that, but except that she collects hair and uses the strings to control the people. But here is kind of different, like different, uh, like sort of like or not though, but it's like this demon that's kind of that's going around um, after long haired black girls. I think that it was called the. Uh, well, listen, the thing is long hair. It was long haired girls with girls with black hair. It doesn't matter. And um, we see Setsuna. Um, well, like she said she wanted to get the talk of the bogus and you know give a, a, a proof of Toa's weapon and also with that little the uh, what was the name that's something root again. And we and also um, on top of that. I see another character that was from the previous show of Inuyasha coming back, which I did not expect to see. Um, but he was he only appeared for like about thirty so seconds in an episode though, and it's a demon by the name of Mini Sendi. Mini Sendi is it was it was an, it was in the episode of Don't Boil It, the dried up uh, the dried up uh, demon the dried up demons, um, where you know an episode where when Kagami went back to home world and bought some of this dried stuff. Even Shippo ate, was eating some of it, but then you, when it's, even though it's dried up food, but it's like dried up demons though, when you boil it or set fire to it, it comes demons. Well, there's an episode, well, in that episode in the beginning where Naraku was talking to this this uh, demon with long, long earlobes. It's by the name of Mindy Sendi, and he has the ability with his ears, he can capable, he's capable of hearing all things in the world, so he can hear pretty much almost everything, so... He's like, you know, oh, <laughs> so you've come, Naraku. Actually, I've heard you coming from several leagues away. <laughs> and Naraku's like, Mini Sendi. They say you possess ears that are capable of hearing all things in this world. So yeah, well, which, well, he wanted to use his ears to find what were the remains of the secret of the sacred jewel shards. So okay, so okay, Mini Sendi is coming back. Okay, that's kind of cool because I, have, oh, um, he he, he he only appeared for one episode and that was it. Though was I didn't. Okay, I did, I did not expect to see him come back. Okay, nice. Another character from the previous show uh, we get to see again. Cool. Mini Cindy. I did not expect to see him to come back. And then we see, uh, <clears throat> um, you know, Setsula with her hair down. Um, then Toa putting, just put it, putting on, putting on glasses. <laughs> putting on sunglasses. Because I think, because I think they say it's a Gorgon. Yeah, a, Gor a Gorgon. Um, you know, turning people, turning people to stone. Which the kind of which which I think if that was right. It's kind of like the same thing that's what Medusa is, you know Medusa. I think that's what they, which the creatures become a gorgon, you know, with the snake hairs, then turn people. You, know, you look into her eyes, you turn people to stone, you know, from Greek myth Greek Greek mythology. 
you know, with Perseus decapitated and just, you know, to destroy the Kraken. <clears throat> Have you seen Clash of the Titans? So, yeah, okay, if that's the case, okay, we see that kind of creature. That kind of makes it interesting. You bring a Greek myth. That is true. You bring a Greek, a Greek mythology creature into this world. Well, in, in this world of anime, I mean. So that's kind of neat. A Gorgon. That's, I'll be interested in seeing that. So. So with all that though, I'm really interested. To, I'm now. I'm really interested in seeing this next episode because the first episode, the first episode, kicked off with a bang, you know. And I'm interested to see what's going on in this next episode. Like I said, given with the, the return of Mindy Sandy, then you got, you know, things with the, oh, the characters of the characters of Bogusin, that demon tree, and then um, this Gorgon, de this Gorgon, you know, like Medusa, right? And that's, if we see, if we have the girl who has his, uh, snakes for hair, that's, then as you say, it's like Medusa. <clears throat> but it's like, like turn people to stone. It has to be, it has to be like Medusa, right? Um... And then that one that one lady that looks like a nun, given more talking more, given this bag, kind of kind of a suspicious character. We'll see on that. 